Bonjour et bienvenue à, à Son of Vent. Je m'appelle Chris Calcott de Novation. Et ici, nous avons les, les trois produits nouveaux de Novation. Il y a trois contrôleurs. Je, je vais euh, voir euh, tous les contrôleurs, euh, mais en anglais. <laughs> S'il vous plaît. OK. So here we have Launch Key Mini. Launch Key Mini is a portable, compact controller keyboard. We have 25 mini keys, 16 velocity sensitive pads, and 8 controller knobs as well. Using in control, the Launch Key Mini can take control over uh, most major DAW softwares. Um, such as Logic, Cubase, um, but we also have deep control over programs such as Ableton and Reason and also FL Studio. With the Launch Key Mini the idea is that we have a nice small compact controller keyboard that can be taken wherever you want. We have low profile knobs here so that we can easily um, uh, put it in and out of our laptop uh, bag. And it's a great little controller for taking anywhere and working with your software. Alongside working um, with your uh, computer, your PC or Mac computer, Launch Key Mini is the perfect companion for your iPad computer as well. It can be bus powered, so with a camera connection kit can plug directly into your iPad, and then you are able to control all of your apps, including the two free apps from Novation, the Launchpad app and the Launch Key app. So this is the Launch Key Mini. Next to Launch Key Mini, we also have the Launch Pad Mini. This is the brand new addition to the Launch Pad family, and it's uh, um, it's a small version of the uh, of the original Launch Pad. We have nice bright LEDs. You'll notice we have generic numbers and letters down the side here, but in, inside the box we also include some stickers which give it Ableton, um, uh, um, Ableton stickers that show you what you're able to control with Ableton. And also there are stickers in there for FL Studio as well. The functionality of Launchpad Mini is, um, is very much the same as the Launchpad S. It's just in a nice small format um, size. We have underneath as well a very good rubberized foot and this means that the launch pad cannot be moved anywhere. It really sticks to the table. So this is Launchpad Mini. And next to Launchpad Mini, we also have Launch Control. And Launch Control takes the idea of the, um, of the launch products, but now we add encoder or rotary knob control to our uh, setup. So with these, we have 16 rotary knobs, we have eight buttons, and we also have four function buttons that allow us to use the launch control with any DAW software, but we also have a number of factory templates in here that mean that we can work very well with uh, Ableton Live, and FL Studio, and again the um, Launchpad and Launch Key apps on your iPad. We have a quick look at uh, some of the uh, features that we have on here. So, for example, on, on the Launch Key Mini here, I can use my uh, track button within Ableton here to go to the different devices. When I find a device, if we have a blue hand on here, I know that I'll instantly be able to take control over that device. Here I'm controlling the auto filter. If I move and click on the, the delay, I'm now able to control the delay as well. So instantly we take control over the, um, over the software. In addition, the velocity sensitive pads here allow me to control my clips in Ableton. So I can use the up and down arrow to find a clip that I want to launch. I can hit the button to trigger it. And then maybe will start the clip and the bottom row will uh, will stop the clip. Of course we have the keyboard here as well which makes a great uh, way of controlling our instruments within the software. And if I have any drum uh, racks maybe set up within Ableton, for example here I have a 909 kit, if I take in control button off I should now be able to trigger 
velocity sensitive pad. So they're great feeling pads and make a great way of controlling your software. Here we have the Launchpad Mini and this works in a very similar way to the, um, the Launchpad S and the original Launchpad. So these arrows allow me to move up and down to my clips and I can trigger clips just by, by pressing the clips here it's perfectly in time. I can move left and right as well. I go to my mixer page, I have volume control. So this is a great way of controlling the volumes. Here I have pan control. We have one speaker, so this may not work, but there we go. So we can control pan. And here we have send control. Here we have send B. And here we have the ability to control our various different things. For example, we can uh, turn clips on and off, or the, the channels on and off. We can stop clips. We can record arm. And we can do all the things that we can do with the uh, usual launch pad. If we go to um, user mode, and I go to my correct channel, which should be this one, yeah. Just turn on channel 8, there we are. I can use this to, to trigger as well. Easy enough, so we've got all of this control. And this user mode here, specifically in Ableton, I can MIDI map. So now we have the ability to control parameters of our, our devices using the, um, using the buttons, but in horizontal rows. So moving on to the launch control, this brings a lot more functionality now to the launch pad type of setup because now we have 16 encoders and the factory templates. So here I'm on factory template number one and straight away I can control my mixer settings. So I have this uh, volume control here. If I switch down I can then control my send effects. So we have a lot of deep control over the mixer specifically with an Ableton. If I go to my factory template number two we now have a single row of launch pad keys, uh, of launch pad buttons. So again, I can trigger. We also have mixer control. If we go to factory template three, I can now use the function arrows here to move to the different devices. And now I can use the up and down arrows to move between the devices within Ableton. So here I've moved to my auto filter. So we'll just trigger, um, we'll trigger a sample for that. Straight away take control. And then we go to the... Uh, You can see that we have a lot of deep control over our software using these different, uh, um, different products. So the idea with the new launch family of products is that we have an ecosystem or a modular system that you can choose which is the right one to suit your workflow. So there we have a good look at the, uh, the new launch family of products. And if you would like some more information, come to Son Event and have a chat with the guys here. Thanks very much.